for the cheapest coins on the internet right now head on over to mutt coin bank guys you can get a million coins for 40 bucks with tax covered instant delivery you will get 24 7 customer support and of course if you guys do use code poodle you'll get 10 percent off and your ea tax covered what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over my favorite maddens in order from trash meh good great amazing i like to give a shout out on this list to samster underscore 05 on twitter for creating this tier chart guys now i actually really like this list. i'm glad that it doesn't go beyond madden because like my first madden was like madden 10 madden 11 obviously you know i'm on the younger side so i guess to a point where what age did you start really playing video games especially getting into sports like that right so madden 10 madden 11 were my first maddens right there so this is a perfect list for me i'm gonna go over them of course there's some foggy ones in between guys like you know those foggy maddens like between 15 and 18 where you were like some of them seem similar you know what i mean so i'm gonna go over the best way that i do know how in terms of my favorite maddens now if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that on the bell Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you guys need coins, head over down below to Muck Coin Bank and use code Poodle at checkout. Now, guys, let's start all the way from the left. Madden 19. Now, I'm going off my personal opinion here, guys. Madden 19, I actually did have a lot of fun in. I actually did enjoy Madden 19. I don't think it was the best Madden of all time. It wasn't my favorite, but I actually did play it quite a lot. And it's also the year I started YouTube. So I'm going to be pretty biased towards it. Um, now, I don't think it was my, you know, I don't know, it wasn't the most fun I've ever had on a Madden game, you know, in terms of solos and everything, but it was a fun year. Um, I definitely had a lot of fun on it. Like I said, I did start YouTube at that point. So for me, it was more like an introductory period and for like getting into my, my stuff. I played like every single day. I'm grinding out a no money spent team. I put Madden 19 in the good column. I don't think it was the greatest one, but I do think it's up there for, it was a good one. And I don't think it was bad. Madden 21. Madden 21 may be the least fun i've ever had on a madden game at least in a long time now it wasn't so much that madden 21 was you know it wasn't that it was trash it just feels like the transition from next gen and current gen and the rushness and the covid and the glitches and the problems we had all year and i feel like ultimate team ultimate team this year had a lot of content but i feel like there was no ambition to it like there was content we were just tossed something and kind of stayed the same all year um, I feel like we're gonna have a great year now. I feel like we're gonna have a great Madden next year. I'll put Madden 21 in Madden. I, I personally, like, I know a lot of people probably love it. I personally didn't like it that much. I play franchise a lot. I do like franchise, but I really didn't like it. I feel like they could have done a lot more for Ultimate Team. Not in terms of content. The content was over the top. That was fine. But there's something like, there was content. But yeah, you can throw us random players all week. But there used to be. But we need more things to do in game. Like more. Of, we need events. We need special, special three day events. Where you can get a, uh, you know, an NAT player like i kind of like how mlb the show and 2k have done this for years now the issue is mlb the show and 2k aren't up to par with madden madden has that edge in terms of you know in terms of some stuff like how the ultimate constructed i i can fully say that but the only thing is they need things like how mlb the show you play this event you collect this amount of tickets and you get a 98 88 overall diamond player for free you know nah it can't be sold right madden should have a thing like there's a weekend event and if you play and some of them should be solo too like mlb makes it solo for some people because obviously not everyone's competitive enough to play online so there should be two there should be a solo one where if you play all these challenges you get all the stuff done you get an 88 overall free player to start the year or if you play online you get a 91 overall nat barry sanders to start the year like something you can use that's going to be really fun to play with you know i think it's it's, it's fair to do uh but that's enough of that madden 18 now madden 18 for me, it goes under the good category. Madden 18 was a regular year for me. It was fun, but that was a point where I was kind of feeling like Madden was getting repetitive. I mean, a lot of people, again, may love that game, but it was starting to get repetitive then. And, you know, it was like not, nothing big had really changed at that point. Madden 17, as well for me, falls in the good category. This was like, this was a span for me, guys. Madden 17, Madden 18, where I was just like indifferent to Madden. For me, first, I was indifferent to it. It was like every year felt like the same thing. Madden 16, I actually really did like. Madden 16 was when I really got into it a little bit more at some point. Um, not not got into it more. Madden 16 was like one of the first like, not that wasn't next gen, but one of the first like when they introduced a lot of new next gen mechanics like aggressive catching and stuff. I remember Odell was on the cover. I was really into Madden that year. Madden 16 was a really really fun Madden. Madden 15, as well, was another good Madden. I don't think it was garbage. I don't think it was trash by any means necessary. Um, now here here are some of my favorites. Madden 25 is one of my favorite Maddens. Not the best Madden. Ah, this is tough. No, no. Madden 25 is one of my favorite Maddens of all 
time. Not my favorite, but it's one of my favorites. That was when we switched over to next gen. There was two. Remember, there was AP on the cover of one and Barry Sanders on the cover of one. There was a current gen and next gen one. This one had those like that Levy on Bell card, the Kaepernick card. You could like that was upgradable. They had like weekly like you know improving cards. That was a fun time period. This is back when they were more innovative and Madden was a bit different. Now again, like I said, these are probably great Maddens. I really like 16 and 25. And next guys, Madden 13, my all-time favorite Madden. That was the first Madden I ever played Ultimate Team on that I really, really got into like that. Like I actually have a chance, guys. This is back when there were cards and actual packs, and there were so many different legends, and there were so many different cards, and there was no, there was no meta like that back then. Like this is before the meta. This is back when like you ran Emmett Smith and I ran Barry Sanders. And Barry Sanders had plus five speed and Emmett Smith, but Emmett Smith had better carrying and trucking. And back then, everything didn't appear so like. You know, um, threshold oriented where like, you know, if Evan Smith had an 100 truck and a 99 juke and Barry Sanders had only had 99 speed, but he had only had a 85 ju uh, truck and Emmett Smith literally could truck you down and keep running. It was like, hmm, maybe it's worth it if juking isn't doing so well right now. That was a time like that. Nowadays, it's like every running back is the same. Every player is the same. There's no differentiation. Like then guys, you could build your team the way you want it to. Some people had Steve Young and some people had Dan Marino. Steve Young could run. But he would throw bad throws, even with 95 throwing, throw, you know, throwing stats, right? Like, he would throw bad throws. Dan Marino had 100 throwing stats and 50 speed, but Dan Marino did not miss a throw. If you want to count him, if you had game, you know, game the line, you had to hit a throw. Dan Marino was hitting it. Steve Young, he may throw a duck. He may overthrow it. He may throw it too lightly. That was a real thing, but that speed made up for it a little bit, right? That was a time when you could just pick the team you wanted. And that's my biggest issue, guys. I love customizing my team. And in Madden 21, there's a reason that Madden 20, it's pretty much like, all right, guys, the meta is um, this year we're going to be pocket passing quarterbacks. We're going to be, um, you know, elusive running backs and uh, trucking doesn't work anymore. So we all have the same running back every time that comes out, whether it's the Barry at the beginning of the year, whether it's the Ladainian Tomlinson, Marshall Folk, whatever it is, guys, that's the running back. Quarterback, everyone's using Brett Favre. Everyone's using Rich Gannon. Like, that's, it's like everyone does the same, same stuff. And it's just so frustrating. That's why I like Madden 13. That was like an innocence period of, online ultimate team gaming where people just did what they wanted to do for fun and i really like that and again that was like one of the earlier years where they were just doing so much like i remember getting free legend packs from playing there was weekly souls for free legend pa uh legend packs nowadays it's 100 that like 120,000 coins for legend fan spec back then you played a weekly solo set it was four floor games at the end of it, if you if you won all four in order uh you got the um the legend a legend pack that was like 120k and that pack was like a guaranteed good legend, guys. You always got some value out of it. Like every week, it was like a 100K guaranteed plus. It's a good time. Uh, Madden 12. Madden 12 was good. Not my favorite. Again, I, Ultimate Team, I, I think Ultimate Team actually started that year. I, I could be wrong. could be Madden 11. But Madden 12 was good. Now, Madden 11, I actually really did like. That was my first ever Madden. Like, like my first ever Madden that I played consistently. Like, I actually really liked. I remember I used to rep the Baltimore Ravens at that time a lot. Um, that was my first out of getting into football. Madden 10 is good as well. Oh, actually, no. It's going to be good. I mean, this is back when they, like, franchise was so much more detailed at times like these. There was some, like, interesting stuff to a lot of stuff like this, like, the way the layout was. And again, remember, in comparison, guys, this is something you have to understand. Madden 21 in comparison is probably up here by feature standpoint and by some stuff, just because it's a 2021 game, right? Like, we, we can't discount that, but we have to count things the way they are, like, it's like if we compared iPhones, right? Was the iPhone 4 better than the iPhone 12 Pro? No. Like, iPhone 12 Pro is better by years, by, by any stretch of imagination. But we have to realize is, I guess we compared it to the time. What else was out? When the iPhone 4 came out, it was groundbreaking in the smartphone era. When the iPhone 12 Pro came out, it's just another phone. It's really good. I have it, but it's, compared to other phones, it's not exactly blown away everything, right? Similar. So, Man 21 for its time period isn't as great as I think it could have been. I mean, like, come on. This game was amazing to me, and we have now come almost 10 years later, and I feel like this game hasn't changed much. Yes, mechanics have changed, graphics have changed, that is expected. But why does franchise, no joke, guys. And when I say this, no joke, franchise mode still looks almost identical to how it looked back then. For any of you guys who played franchise mode, that screen since about Man 25, Man 13 has not changed one time. All they do is change the colors every year. They change the colors. They've actually removed features. They've taken away like Pro Bowl features, taken away this. They added abilities, but the game mode itself has not changed. They've copy and pasted the franchise almost exactly for the last 10 years. And that is why a game that still releases franchise looking like that, still releases modes like that, isn't exactly top of my list. Now, Madden 20. I'm going to put Madden 20 for me in the good category. Um, again, that was like my best year of YouTube with Madden 20. 
I, I, the game itself, I actually played more than Madden 21. I liked it more. But the game also flamed out at a point, and they had a similar issue where they were just throwing out content. But they had the house rules. They had innovative stuff for a while, but then COVID came. I kind of messed up the second half bit. You know what? The, the Madden 20 is there, right? That, 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 I can't move it up. The game itself wasn't much greater. There was a lot of issues with abilities. No. Great. I like Madden 20. No, I take it back. I played a ton of franchise mode. I played a ton of Ultimate Team. I had some good experiences with it. It led to a lot of things that I've done last year because of Madden 20. Again, this isn't just gameplay oriented, guys. This is my personal opinion on it. That's about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this. My list. We got Madden 13 is the best. Madden 21 is the worst. Madden 21 has to be the least enjoyed Madden I've ever played. Um, it did not take long for me to stop enjoying it to that extent. But, guys, hopefully, you did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell. Give us a big thumbs up. Of course, my friends. And don't come up for a Thanks for watching. Good night. Peace.